Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Caesar the Pleaser. Oh. Since talking to Lily yesterday, I wanted to try to move on from the listlessness. Listlessness I felt since coming to Yamako. But even if I try to concentrate on the book in front of me, Hinako's empty seat at the back of the classroom uh, looms larger than life. Every time I start to get focused, I'm sorry, every time I start getting focused, my eyes flick over to her desk again and my mind starts spinning. Oh, hey. Once more, my eyes dripped over to it, but this time it's to my vision is blocked by a certain other classmate. Oh, hey, Mickey. Or Mikey. Or Mickey. Yeah, Mickey, right? Because the I in Asian culture would be two E's, right? Right? I don't know. Someone told me that. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. I don't want to Google that because I'm lazy. All right, moving on. Maybe she should just have lunch. I can hear your stomach growling from my desk. Give me one sec. This is all good? Yeah, this is all fine. There's, there hasn't been music in a while, that's why. Oh. I let my head drop in my disappointment. She seems to have taken some music from my reaction and helps onto my desk. Her grin as uh, she said something on it reminds me of her, of the, che, uh, the Cheshire cat. So what you working on? Some math. I have a decent hand on it, but I just wanted to revise. Oh really? Let me see that. Before I can adjust, she grabs her mathematics book with her hand. She scans the page I was on, holding it open with one hand as she has. Her left arm uh, sitting uselessly on her lap. In my time here in Yamako, um, I've noticed that the other students have a wide range of adjustment with their disabilities. On a purely practical level, <clears throat> Mickey is one of those who seem to have trouble with some trouble. The sum of her left arm tends to be either hanging by her side, slipped into her pocket, or otherwise put out of the way. Sometimes she has a difficult time uh, doing common tasks, which makes her visibly quite frustrated. I feel a little bad for thinking this way, but I'm thinking that Hanako and I don't have disabilities for their freedom to movement uh, of the eggs dirt. Then again, if Mickey's problem worsened, at least she wouldn't have a real possibility of dying. My attention is refocused as she thumbs through the few pages, skimming through their contents with such casual interest of the matter. It's clear right now that she won't be any help. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not too interested in this stuff. Screw math, it's boring as hell. Yeah, my kind of girl. She puts the book uh, back in my front of me with indifference. Her eyes move to the notebook beside it that I've been working out practice equations. Wait, you're actually able to work out that stuff? Yeah. Wow, I never talked to a computer with legs before. <laughs> Thanks, I think. At least I'm doing better than, than history. Think it's worth it's worth asking the librarian for help? I hear she, she's shooting for uni. Ah, you go? Maybe. I don't know what she wants to study though. So what about you? Got anything you're doing uh, after you graduate? Me? Nah. Just enjoy it while it lasts. She looks a little awkward when asked about her future, and absent manly rubs her left forearm. I kinda wanna ask her about it, but I don't think I know her well enough to do so. The car uh, peters out, and I lean back on my chair, giving up with the process of studying, making notes of my entire expression. It looks oddly serious. Thinking about Hanaka? Is it that? Is it? Uh, is it? It's that obvious? You've been glad you got her see, and you've been pretty quiet. Not too hard to connect the dots. I'm just worried about her. Yeah, I can see why you would be. She can get weird sometimes. She's not to put off, but I can't blame her. Hanako was a hard person to interact with before she was warmed up to me. Even uh, with Lily around to help, I haven't known her for that long either, so some of her habits would still be unknown to me. My face becomes troubled. If I hadn't developed feelings for her, this would be a little le uh, le uh, would be at least a little easier to deal with. I, I mean, no offense, she isn't a bad person. I know that much. I know. I know. I didn't take it that way. It's just harder to deal with uh, when, well, you know, you have feelings for someone. Yeah, I can manage that. Uh, it's hard to forget something like that, uh, what happened to her during class, too. I wish she had to remind me of that. Just She just confirmed that it was clearly noticed by others in the room as well. Come on, dug it down. She's done this before, you just gotta wait it out. She locks herself in her room, and that is like an empty house of a person for a sizable amount of time. Ever since she's entered Yamaka, if not 
uh, before then as well. And I'm not supposed to be concerned about that. Technically, no, you shouldn't. Technically, no. Seriously, you t technically it's none of your business, is how. Until until it becomes your business, uh, and that only happens if she chooses to tell you and talk to you about it. But other than that, it's not your business, is how. Technically. Well, I might think of that, but there is nothing I can do. I can't force her to come out, and, she, and, she, and she does see a therapist, so it's not like she's getting any. She isn't getting any help for her issues. Maybe it's natural to think that way when you're so powerless to help someone. That's just the way she is, and you have to deal with it. As I'm moving over, I notice a movement on my own. I glance to see what it is, and end up doing an, a double take. How? Oh, oh uh, hey, we weren't talking about you. At all, make the fuck off my table, bitch. You're still on my table. Sure enough, it's Tanaka. She walks through the door just as she would any normal school day. Emmy gets to move towards her seat in her usual silent and humble manner. She looks at me for a moment before blushing and looks away in embarrassment, which makes me realize that I was staring at her. I feel sorry for that, but not doing it, uh, but not doing it is hard after all that's happened. The girl sitting at my desk looks close to me, grinning. See, your cigarette's back already. What did I tell you? You be quiet. Get the fuck off my table. It might only be meant as a joke, but she hits it close enough to make me feel uncomfortable. As you talk, someone calls Mickey's name from the door. She jumps down from her vanish front of my desk before turning to me. Gotta go, Sal. Remember to eat something time, will ya? Fine, I will. See ya. She gives a casual salute before jogging over to the door, where a male student in a gym uniform is waiting for her. <laughs> Probably someone from the track and field club. Go talk to her. Go talk to her. Yes! Seize the opportunity, I get up and make my way to Anako's desk. H hello Hi, Anako, what's up? N nothing. Maybe talk to her soon after she came back to class was a bad move. Wanna come with me to grab something from the cafeteria? I'm pretty hungry. But I thought you were studying. Studying can wait. Turning out for class after all this time was taking some courage for Anako. So I the least I could do it was stay with her. That's just the way she is, and you just gotta deal with it. It's the way Mickey and probably the class as a whole views Anako. I could do more for her, though. I want to do more for her. After being distracted by Mickey, I don't think I'm going to get any work done. Come on, let's go. She hesitates, but eventually gets up and joins me as we begin walking. These may be small steps for. God damn it, phone! Ah! You guys have no idea how much editing and cutting I gotta do for this fucking sessions that I've been doing with this Katsu Shoju. It's fucking annoying, man. This is why I want my own place. But anyway, this may be small steps for her, but the fact that she's finally coming out of her room and for um, of her own uh, volition lifts a large weight off my shoulders. We're closing. Really? Okay, we're gonna close the scene. Cow. Uh, 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 uh.